for and forbid burnt offerings and sacrifice and drink offerings in the temple, and that they should profane the Sabbath. Ending. All the days that we had, they said profane those that were not the Sabbath. Yeah. Get rid of those. We ain't gonna let y'all do no burnt offerings to the Most High. We ain't gonna let y'all do, do drink offers and peace offers. No, we gonna take all that stuff away from you, and we want y'all to make everything, you know, like it, like it don't mean anything to you anymore, so that we can all be one people. I just got through talking about uh, uh, the feet, the memorial of blowing the trumpets. I just got through talking about Yom Kippur. I just got through talking about feast of tabernacles. You haven't heard of those things, but you have heard of Christmas, Easter. Fourth of July, Labor Day, St. Patrick's Day, Halloween. Haven't y'all heard of those days? Yes. That's because they told you to get rid of what you was doing right. and come and do what they're doing right. so that you can get rid of what you was doing and do what they do so you can be one people. Right. And you're going to be, be one people based not on what you define as one, but what they define as one. Right. Right. See, the, the nation that has conquered you has defined to you what you're going to do. Mm. Y'all hearing that? Yeah. Mm. Come on. And pollute the sanctuary and holy people. Pollute the sanctuary and pollute the holy people. Get the holy people not even thinking about the law. Right. But we just opened up the, the message talking about if you do what? Meditate. If this book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth. He wanted it right at this particular time. When we get to the Greeks, they're telling you, get the law out of your mouth. Get it off of your mind. And we want y'all to be filled with what we're doing. Right. Y'all hearing this? Mm -hmm. Very important. Set up all seriousness. What did Hezekiah do? Tear down. Didn't Hezekiah tear him down? Yes. Tear down the grooves? And the Bible concluded that he did what was wrong in right. the sight of y'all? Right. He did what was right mm -hmm. in the sight of y'all. Mm -hmm. But look at what they they telling them to do. The same Israelites. Their generation is that generation has passed. Now a new generation of, of Israelites are there. <laughs> Selling to set up altars, come on, and groves and chapels of idols, and chapels of idols, come on, and sacrifice swine's flesh and unclean beasts. Ooh. We want you to kill pigs and put them on the altar mm -hmm. instead of turtle doves. Mm. Y'all hearing this? Yes. Come on. That they should also leave their children uncircumcised. Don't even circumcise your children. Ooh. And that was one part of the law. Circumcise children. Teach them this word so that when they get old, they won't depart from this teaching and this understanding. Give it to your children. Sit at the table and let it be front lips around your eyes. Mm -hmm. Right on the doorpost of your house. Mm -hmm. Keep this word. They said, leave your children uncircumcised. Don't teach your children nothing. Leave them uncircumcised from the customs that y'all had when y'all was doing y'all own thing with Yahweh. Now y'all gonna do what we want y'all to do. Leave them uncircumcised and what? And make their souls abominable. Make their souls abominable. Mm -hmm. With what? With all manner of uncleanness and profanation. Are y'all hearing? They said mm -hmm. make their souls where they will not be accepted to the Most High. Make mm -hmm. their souls abominable to the Most High. Where the father will look at them and he'll be so angry and fury that he'll keep them in captivity and, and, and put it, keep putting those curses on them. Make them abominable when the father look at them. Y'all hearing that? Mm -hmm. wow. Come on. To this end, is why. To end, they might. To the them. end, come on. To the end, they might forget the law. That's the the reason why they happened. wanted them to be one people is ultimately so they that they might get. what? Forget, forget the, the law. law to the end to, the end. to this end to this conclusion mm -hmm. to the to this conclusion of the whole matter we want them to do all these things so that they might forget mm -hmm. the law yes and what else and change all the ordinances and change all the ordinances mm -hmm. so we want them to become like us ultimately so that they forget what they was doing before and we can go back and change everything that they was doing so that if they ever remember it, it'll all be changed off anyway. Mm -hmm. That's what they did to your history and to your heritage. Mm -hmm. Yes. They did sure did. Come on, what it say? And whosoever would not do according to the commandment of the king. So they said, Dad, check this out. This is what they're going to add. Now, whoever don't do what we say, what, what, what's going to happen to him? He should die. Now, if you don't become one with the heathens, then we're going to kill you, little man. Mm -hmm. We're going to kill you, sister. 
you're going to experience an unthinkable death. We're going to torture you before we kill you, though. We're going to do some, some, some horrible things to you to see can we get you to change your mind. Mm -hmm. Like the woman who had the seven sons, and they fried all of her sons, one son at a time, to get her to change her mind about serving the Most High God. Like the old man, they said, listen, you ain't even got to eat the swine's flesh. Just pretend like you eat it, just so all the younger men will think that you ate it, and then they'll bow down and we don't have to kill everybody. Mm -hmm. And the old man said, no, if I pretend like I'm eating this, yeah. and all these young men fall because of my example, yeah. then I'm not going to be a good example. Just kill me. They decided, a lot of them chose to die, right. then to uh, just forsake, forsake the law of y'all. Mm-hmm. Y'all hearing it? Yes. Yeah. This is Josephus. It's about to back up what that Bible just said. And he lived during that particular time. Come on. He also appointed over This is the antiquity of the Jews, 12.5.4. What did it say? He also appointed overseas. Who who should compel them to do what he commanded? So he, Antiochus, he put overseers over the children of Israel and over all these other lands. And compel them to obey the king. Come on, obey the king. Obey the king. Come on. And indeed, many Jews there were who complied with the king's commands, either voluntary or out of the fear of the penalty that was denounced. Come on. But the best man in those of the noble soul regard him. Oh, so there we got a remnant. These other folks, they did it because they were they they were voluntarily did it because they were just wicked. They said, man, we signed up for that. We want to do everything y'all saying. We want to get a part. We want to get in on it. And then you had people who did it because of they were fearing they didn't want to die. So not to die, they said, man, I don't want to die, man. I might as well do it. So you had two types of wicked Israelites. The ones that did it voluntarily and the ones that was just fearing to die. And that's what Yahshua said. He said, if any man is going to be my disciple, let him first deny himself, yeah. take up his cross, and follow me. Yes, so when you decide to follow the Messiah, get ready to die. Yes. And it's hard to do. And it's hard to do. So the question is, either you're going to follow him or you're not going to follow him. I'm going to follow him. Y'all hear that? Yes. Yes. Watch this. But the best men and those of noblest souls did not regard, but what did they do? But did pay a greater respect to the customs of their country. They paid a greater respect to the customs of their country. Come on. They concerned as to the punishment which he threatened to the disobedient. In other words, they, they weren't concerned about the punishment that they was going to receive. They said, no, we're going to put more emphasis on the laws of Yah. And we don't care what we got to suffer and go through in this life. Come on. On which account that every day underwent great miseries and bitter torments. So every day they went through great misery and bitter torments. These are some of the torments that our people, your ancient ancestors, went through. For they were whipped with rods. They was whipped with rods. Who are they whipping with rods in the time of slavery? Uh, Same ancestors. ancestors. Same people. Come on. And their bodies were torn to pieces. Their bodies were torn to pieces. Come on. And were crucified. They were crucified. While they were still alive. While they were still alive and breathing. Come on. They also strangled the, those women and their sons whom they have circumcised. They strangled the women and their sons which they had circumcised. Come on. As the king had appointed, hanging their sons about their necks. Hang, hanging this. Who's been hung all this time in slavery? Mm -hmm. We have. They're showing you we're the same people. Yes. Hanging their sons about the neck. As they were upon the crosses. And people want to wear a golden cross around their neck. Mm, mm, mm. Look at me, boy. I got this golden bling bling cross mm. on my neck. Knowing that they were hanging our sons and daughters from the crosses. Mm -hmm. And they think that the cross is some kind of holy significant sign that you get close with Jesus because yeah, you got a cross around your neck. And it's telling you that they were hanging our sons about the neck up on the crosses. <laughs> Y'all hearing this? Yes. So beyond that these were the things that our ancient ancestors did because they was not going to forsake the laws of Yah, those commandments. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. And if there were any sacred book of the law. If there was any sacred book of the law, what did Joshua 
If this book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, now this is what they're going to do to the books now. If there was any sacred book of the law found, it was destroyed, and those with whom they were found miserably perished. So they destroyed the book, and they destroyed the people that were found with the book. That's why this book of the law got to be in you. Hallelujah. 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 Forced customs. Alexander the Greek was so successful in spreading the Greek way, historians named the period from 300 B.C. to A.D. 300, the Hellenistic period. Whoa. Look how long a period of time that is. Mm -hmm. This is why they took that book, Apocrypha, out of the Bible. They would never want you to know how you became like you are today. Mm -hmm. And that's why when they brought us over to slavery, brought us on the transatlantic slave trade, they can tell you anything. They can tell you your people was into voodoo, your people was into witchcraft, your people was in, and your people wasn't into that at all. They was worshiping the Elohim of Israel, mm -hmm. the mighty one of Israel. Hallelujah. <laughs> Y'all hearing this? Yes. Mm -hmm. Hellenists were Israelites created in the Greek value, language, and customs. The Hebrews were devout Israelites who spoke Aramaic. They were Israelites, but they had accepted and adopted the ways of the Greeks. Mm. That's what a Hellenist is. Mm -hmm. They were Hellenized. They were adopting the ways of the Greeks, and they became Greeks in their minds, even though they were Israelites by birth. Mm. Hebrews by birth. Hellenist, Grecian, the Hellenist, one who imitates the manners and the customs or the worship of the Greeks and use the Greek tongue, using the New Testament was born in foreign lands and speaking Greeks. In other words, you are Hebrew, but you don't speak Greek, you speak what? English. Because your language has been lost to you. You didn't know you were speaking Hebrew before. You don't know your language has been cut off from you. Yes. Ain't that something? Mm -hmm. And you come out speaking English, thinking English, and you think you're English, you think you're an American. Mm -hmm. Wow. So how Americans dress? What jeans, sagging pants, head backwards? Because you're American. That's the way America's culture is. You don't know that you had a culture and a history and a heritage that was royal and great. Mm -hmm. And that culture has to come back in you. And we got to return back to what we was doing prior to. Hallelujah. 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 Give you the last video. Roots 57 and 46. 57, 46. We're going to close out with this, with this clip. Influence of America on Israelites. But it will fail on the way. You didn't know that it is the people who own you. But it is the will of God who has providence made you servants. Because he knew that was the best condition. Does it look like they knew what Christmas was? Look at their faces. Christmas, saying that they're out of gifts. They're out of Christmas gifts. <laughs> Is there a kunta in there? We want to know. The king of France. 
<laughs> Where is Kunta? Could be anywhere near the mouse. He my friend. He ain't my slave. I don't keep no watch on him. Mistress Arabella wishes to give him a gift. Bring him directly to the house. He will be there when the time comes. Miss Campbell, so sure we don't want to miss that. I wanted him to have this present first, before the pageant. That way he won't be too tired to be my camel. And I wanted to tell him I won't lash him with the crop again. I know he's not an animal and shouldn't be treated as such. I wanted to give it to him myself, but you will please do it for me. Yes, ma'am. I'll see him at the pageant. At that pageant, Kuta Kinta had to be her camel. So she was going to ride him like a camel, mm -hmm. and he was going to be in this pageant. That's what they did to our ancient ancestors in uh, <coughs> this American captivity. And uh, what I wanted to show, the reason why I wanted to show that clip, was to show you the influence of, of Christmas on it, because we didn't know nothing about Christmas. Right. And the white guy was telling them, preacher, he was preaching to them about Christmas, right. that the Father chose us to be in this world, to be servants, to be servants to our brothers and our sisters, and he's chose that particular degree for us, mm -hmm. and they got the people wrong, they're thinking we to see the ham, but we're ready to see the sham, and they taught us these customs, they gave these customs mm -hmm. to us. So, but I want you to know that in every captivity, there was always a remnant that stood up against it, wow. that, that, that denied and uh, threw, um, even under the, the, the fear or the threat of death, they stood up for the laws, the statutes, and the judgments. And what I'm telling you is those threats are going to come back again in our future. And those things are getting ready to happen and get stirred up. It's already, they already are, are, are programming everything for race riots. Y'all saw the thing that happened with the uh, people down in uh, uh, Charlotte, Charlottesville, or whatever, Charlotte. and uh, how he ran and man just, just hates pe people because of the color of his skin. Yeah. <clears throat> All of these things are, are about to increase like never before. That's why when John read the scripture in Exodus chapter 6, it says, with a mighty stretched out hand, he's going to drive us out of Egypt. So a lot of people don't want to go back home, but we're going to be forced to leave here because this place is going to be destroyed called America. And because America has to be judged because of her sins that she did against Yahweh's chosen people. Are y'all hearing that? Yes. So the Father's already put us in a position, in a place, for us to return back to the land. There's already people that went 50 years before we uh, are entered into it, and have already prepared a place for us to go and to be. And I'm so glad that I have the opportunity to go visit myself, because I agree with the spirit of Yahweh that's saying that he's going to come and gather us and return us back to the land. We're all about leaving all together at once, mm -hmm. but we're leaving little by little, filing back in to the land. And I'm so glad to be a part of this end time gathering of Yahweh's people. Amen. Aren't you glad? Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How do people receive that word today? Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Well, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat shalom. Yes. People of God, come on, let's pray. Yahweh, we thank you for the anointing, the power of the Spirit. We thank you for all that you're doing in our life, heart, mind, and soul. The word that we heard today was a word that caused us to reflect on the history of where we've come from as a people of Israel. We thank you for the stories. We thank you uh, for, for learning and the teaching today. We appreciate you reminding us of who we are yes. and what we are called to do. We are truly called your royal priesthood. Your holy nation, yes. your peculiar treasure. Father, you've brought us out of darkness into your marvelous light. And we thank you, Father, that we were able to expose some of uh, uh, the light of your word and the yes. truth thank upon you. this subject. We thank you for causing us to reflect 
on what happened to our ancient ancestors in other time periods under other captivities. And we thank you, Abba Yahweh, that that's going to strengthen our resolve into going with you all the way. We say forward ever, backwards never. Father, we're going on all the way with you. We're going to be strengthened by meditating on the word, allowing this book of the law not to depart out of our mouth, but meditating day in and day out. To be perform and to do all of the things, observe to do all that is written therein. And then once we do that, we're going to begin to have prosper and we're going to have great success. We give you praise and glory and honor. Thank you for the seed of the word that fell upon our hearts. Let it bring forth 30, 60, and a hundredfold fruit. And we bless the holy name of Yahweh. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen. 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 Come on, clap your hands real good. Amen. Amen.